Despite the cold and wet, they weren't forgotten. Though COVID-19 restrictions meant Police Remembrance Day commemorations went online. But from compliance and welfare checks to the ACT's border, the contribution of police has been crucial. ACT policing have done an outstanding job, uh, not just this year, uh, but last year as well. And I think they've shown how community policing uh, can be done uh, in a really effective way. Though when it comes to compliance, one of the biggest concerns is one that's hard to police. Health authorities have seen an alarming increase in people waiting more than five days after developing symptoms before getting tested. The Chief Minister warning it not only puts the community at risk, but could have shocking individual consequences. The longer you wait to get tested and diagnosed, the less available treatments there are for you. There are some COVID-19 treatments that need to be administered within five days of an individual experiencing symptoms in order for them to be fully effective. When it comes to the outbreak itself, authorities think they've at least got a handle on case numbers. Today recording 22 new cases, just a few more than the daily average of 17.1 cases per day this outbreak. While our daily case numbers go up and down, when we consider the average across the entire outbreak, they are staying steady. They're not rapidly escalating, which is giving us the confidence that we need to be able to move forward. The Chief Minister's also received the clarification he was looking for on just how long disaster payments will continue, with the federal government to wind them back as national vaccine targets are met. We put a case uh, to them that there would be uh, a need to taper. Uh, and that there would still be people who would need support in the transition phase. Uh, and so to the extent that their announcement addresses uh, that, either partially or fully, will be, I guess, in the eye of the beholder. The Chief Minister says he's also reached in principle agreement with Federal Treasurer Josh Frydenberg about a further suite of business support measures, with an announcement expected tomorrow. Meanwhile, authorities are urging Canberrans to do all they can to get vaccinated as soon as possible, with earlier appointments often opening up online. I'd strongly advise anyone uh, who has either yet to get vaccinated or has a booking that is weeks in advance to look around. It is highly likely that you will get an earlier appointment. A further easing of restrictions comes into effect on Friday. Harry Frost, ABC News, Canberra.